wrapped in this jacket. It's your girl Kiamani, and I'm back at it again with another video. We are doing another review for my favorite company, Super Be Wig. Box, we got ponytail holder, elastic band, wig cap, period. So the wig that I do have is pre-plucked and pre-bleached. Did end up going in with my razor just to make her a little bit shorter and a little bit more blunt. I find that I can only get a blunt bob when it's done with a razor. This is the wig on. So I did cut a little bang as you can see, but I do want to still style her with some cute little twisties in the front. Although this wig is a bob wig, it is different from bobs that I've reviewed before because this is actually yakky, a yakky texture. You see the shine? Usually a lot of yakky wigs that I've reviewed in my, my, my time was never like a nice, like a yakky that I'd actually wear, but I would actually wear this. It's not that cheap yakky like beauty supply hair that I just no one likes. One thing about yakky though, actually processed and made yakky hair from silky straight hair, and it just gives you a more fuller look. So you can have a yakky wig and a straight wig, and obviously the yakky wig is gonna look thicker because of just how the hair was processed. So if you don't like thin wigs and you wanna be popping. So this is how it looks. I need to touch up the little areas right here a bit. But this is how she looks with the little bang that I did. This is a full lace wig. So you can literally part it anywhere you want. Literally anywhere. There's lace all over. So that's definitely an advantage, especially if you want to do cute little styles, different styles, two ponytails, something that will require you to have something other than a middle part. This is great for that. Now, when cutting the lace on a full lace wig, I cut the majority of the lace already, but I left a little bit on so you'll know how to do it. You do have to cut the wig around your ears. So let me show you what I mean. So this is the wig all the way on. You see how my ear is like in the wig? You just want to cut your ear out. And make sure you don't cut the actual um, elastic band or you are going to ruin your wig. And cut your ear out. So just cut around the ear. But once you see that we got our ear out, you can see I know my bangs are in the way, but you can see just how natural the hairline looks. And I didn't even pluck it or bleach it myself. It came like this. Get into it. Ooh, this looks like my hair child. One tip I can suggest when wearing a full lace wig is you need to make sure that the wig fits your hair properly. So you need to make sure you have the correct cap size and I would double check and do my measurements maybe three or four times before I actually place my order because you want the wig to fit snug. That's what it that's what's gonna get you, give you the most natural look. The hairline is amazing on this wig. Now when I push my bangs back I didn't even pluck this at all or bleach it again. It just looks very natural. Very 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 natural. I am going to tack down my wig on the sides because I do want to do a cute little style on the top. I'm going to tack that down with just your regular got to be.
hair is the perfect texture to do curls in because it literally holds its shape so well because it has texture to it. So now that we got our tack down on the sides, I do want to do my cute little style that I've been meaning to try. Since this is full lace, I can do a lot. It's very 90s inspired. I'm loving a cute bang. It's real edgy and cute, nice and full. It looks like it could honestly beat my hair. So if you did want to pick up this, you heard, mm. So if you did want to pick up this wig and spice her up like I did, Everything on her is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Hi.